Alright, hello guys. This is the Cool Cat HD here with a tutorial today. I have just figured out how to mod Fallout 4 VR. A lot of other people have figured out how to do it, but uh, I don't see a video, so here I am for anyone else struggling. Um, uh, Alright, so basically you guys can see my monitor capture. You guys are seeing it. Currently it's 9.59 p.m., 10 p.m. in game. This is bright as shit. So just as proof of concept, um, I'm going to install a uh, Darker Nights mod. So you can visually see that it's not dark. It's obviously night, but it's not dark. So uh, all we're going to do is close out of that. Uh, here we are. So basically, what you want to do to enable mods and to get mods to work is first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your Fallout 4 VR folder that's under your documents, you know, C, users, your username, documents, my games, Fallout 4 VR. You're going to go here to your custom uh, one here. You're going to copy this, these uh, two lines here, archive, B invalidate, older files one, and then S, resource, data, DIRS, final, equals, and then blank. You're going to put that into your custom Fallout 4 INI. Then you're going to go to your Fallout 4 Preferences INI. And at the bottom here, um, I added this launcher thing here, be enable file selection. I also added this U last aspect ratio one just because in the tour I was watching, I saw it and how to do it for the original game. So that's what you do. You, uh, you edit these two INIs here. And then what you want to do is you want to go to um, here. You're going to want to go here to your app data local blah 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 folder. You know, it's going to be under C users, your username, app data, local. You're going to want to go here, your Fallout 4. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy your DLC list and your plugins list text document from this folder to your Fallout 4 VR folder. Um, in here, obviously, you can see DLC list. The, the fucking DLC for the game. And then here is the plugin list. And basically, um, this plugin list was these items here. For me personally, these items here without the asterisks. I added the asterisks. And then this is the one mod that I had. So after you um, add these files in and then edit here, add the asterisks to this, uh, go to, let's say, Nexus Mod Manager here. This is uh, Darker Nights 1.1 P6. We're going to enable the selected mod. Then, um, this is for all mods in general. Uh, basically, you go here to your plugin list here, and this is BetterNightVision.esp, DarkerNights.esp, DarkerNightsDetection.esp. What you're going to do is you're going to add these three ESPs, ESPs here in this list to here with asterisks in front of them. Save the file. And then, oh, I can I can just launch. I set it up here. Launch custom Fallout 4 from here. And then, um, yada yada yada. Any minute now, Fallout 4 will load up. It it takes time. It take it does take a couple minutes. Here we are, the main menu. Or oh, wait. Continue, load in guys, and as promised in probably 10 to 20 seconds from now, you will see a night sky that is properly dark. And, ta-da, it's dark as Shit, I mean, it's not that dark. I can see very well I'm having some issues because I'm obviously sitting down in my chair, but as a proof of concept, you guys understand now, I hope. And, um, I haven't been able to figure out how to get DLC to work in this yet, but I believe that in the VR version of the game, there isn't an actual trigger for the DLC. Uh, maybe uh, there will be a patch soon. That has it, but as far as modding goes, this 
works. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope uh, this tutorial helped anyone out. Uh, if they were struggling, uh, I don't know, maybe putting it in a video and uh, just showing it is a lot easier than just reading about it. So, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later. Cool Cat HD out.